and we're looking a bit sad today. In fact, I'm wearing a black armband. And why? The pedal powered washing machine has finally given up the ghost. The machine itself, although it still works, it's leaking from the drum and the bicycle has sadly seen much better days 40 or 50 years ago. But I'm going to make a new one. I've already been able to recuperate the washing machine from the local tip and the bicycle from the same source. I intercepted it on its way to the bin. What I'm going to show you over the next few days is how I'm going to make this system up, how I encounter all the problems and I'm also going to make the support for the bicycle out of wood. Now the previous one I used a welded steel frame and I had quite a few people ask me about doing it in a wooden support. So I've got some wood recuperated from pallets and we'll see what we can do with it. So here's the replacement machine. As you can see it's a top loading machine as opposed to the horizontal front loader that was the other, on the other model. This makes it more compact but, and this is one of the problems, with the, with the front loading machine at the rear where the transmission is there was actually a very big plastic housing which went round the drive and transmission and when I took that off it would line up nicely with the drive for the, from the bicycle. Because this machine is much narrower the transmission is either on this side or on this side, I'm not sure which yet, but it's within the line of the machine and I'm going to see just how difficult or easy it is to connect the chain to it. Anyway, that's what I'm going to look at next is find where the transmission is. There's the motor and there is the pulley wheel there so the transmission is on this side so I'm going to have to be able to get my drive chain onto the shaft here which is where I'm going to connect. I've taken the side off the machine, the motor is here, there's the drum and the drive to it. I'm going to lift this concrete off because we don't want that, that just makes it heavy and a waste of time and the same the other side, so I'm going to have to take the other side panel off. These are the support frames that are holding the, rigid, the structure rigid and I've got to somehow get my transmission along here either from the front of the machine or from the rear so once I've attached the drive cog to there from the bicycle then I'll know what the line is like but at the moment it looks like I might have to put this sprocket quite far out to miss the two supporting sides of the machine what is really important with this type of machine, it's something you should look at if you're going to do it yourself, is realise that the side panels are an integral part of the structure. And if you look at this here, look how flimsy this is. So we are going to need to brace this side when we, we're going to re leave it off, I, I hope anyway, for the drive to be working. But that is really flimsy. And in fact, the sheet metal side to this machine is an integral part of the structure and its stiffness. So that's something you really have to consider is that if you start taking things off you may have to put something to replace it in form whether it's a strut across the side here or replacing the whole panel again just because that's what makes it stay up. Just look at this here, some years old, beautiful bearing, still running smoothly wonderful seal on it, perfect. And it actually lends a line mechanically to the rest of the machine which in itself is nowhere near as robust as this component here. So that's something you have to look at. This is an important part of the machine. You could actually do without the rest of it really. Um, but I'm going to try and keep it because it's a nice way of carrying it about. Again, with the front loading machine this part of the drive projected outside the frame of the structure and that was really really useful when I wanted to put the bicycle attachment to it when I connected the chain to it and this is the problem now is that this flywheel is sitting inside the structure which is a lovely bit of compact engineering but it's not going to help me a lot so I'm going to have to work out how to offset the sprocket so that I can get the drive 
just outside the line here so I don't foul the metal with the chain. This is a bicycle that I intercepted just before it went into the skip at the dump. Uh, it's not a brilliant piece of machine as it stands at the moment, but it is going to power the washing machine quite nicely, I believe. The pedals are in good state of repair. I don't think it's had that much wear. So, yeah, it's going to have another few years work now when it's connected up to the machine. So now all I've got to do is once I've established where the transmission is going to go on the machine is to get the two aligned and the supports made for the bicycle.